and welcome to the second video on multivariate decision making. Today we will be covering common two method. We have selected the same problem from the previous video that is from analytical hierarchy process. We have considered the same problem of supplier selection. So the weights are already calculated. Again, from the previous problem, I am using the same weights. Okay, whenever you are solving a new problem, you have to calculate the weights first using AXP method. Okay. So let us start with the Promethe 2 method. So one parameter is there that is Q, which you have to set or which decision maker has to set. So what is Q? It is basically a threshold or indifference. So it is basically the largest deviation which is considered negligible by the decision maker. Right? For example, you are having, suppose you are you want to buy a shoe. Okay, you are you went to buy shoes. Suppose one option, let us say action shoes are there, which is costing you suppose thousand. Suppose another shoes, let us say Reebok is there and that is costing you suppose 1100. Okay, that is third shoes are there, suppose maybe Cooper, you Cooper shoes, which is costing you suppose say 1050, right? So, the Q is basically the difference in price which you think as negligible. For example, if you see, if you take Q as 50, means your action shoes and knee cooper shoes both will be preferred because the difference in these two prices are 50. A50, if you select this as 50 means both the alternatives are same. You will trade, you will prefer both the alternatives. Okay. Suppose, but in the case, if you consider the case of this action shoes and revoke shoes, okay, with Q as 50. So this means that the difference between these two two is 100 right and since your difference is greater than your q value you will prefer rebox shoes or say action shoes not rebox shoes because price lower the better is the price you will simply prefer action shoes over rebox shoes because its price is less okay so in this way this q works so coming back to our problem, let us first set the values of Q for different parameters. Let us fix if the difference is more than 2, then I will prefer one alternative over the in the cost say suppose difference is more than 5. Again, this is also keep as 5. And let us take Q as 0. So, in AHP, basically what we have done the first step, in AHP we have compared the different criteria with the criteria, right? In H in this Promethe method, we will be comparing alternative versus alternative, right? That is supplier 1 versus supplier 1, oh, sorry, supplier 2, okay? Supplier 1 versus supplier 3 and so on, with respect to only one parameter at a time. Suppose, for example, you are taking quality as a parameter. So, you will only see this quality column for comparison. Okay. And other factors will be considered, uh, will not be considered for this step. Okay, so it is alternative versus alternative comparison with reference to only one parameter at a time. Okay, so let us 
see how to form the table. Now, if you compare S1 versus S2, the difference is of 5. Your decision criteria is basically if difference is less than or equals to Q, you will put the value in the cell of preference that is 1, sorry, 0. Okay. If the difference between two values is greater than Q, then you will put the value of P that is in the cell as 1. Okay. So let us enter the values. In the first case, S1, S2, the difference is of 5. Okay. So we will come to this case that is the difference is greater than your P value. And whichever alternative is preferred, you will write 1 over there. Okay. So since S2 is preferred because it is quality, right? So S2 is preferred over S1. So I will put 0 over here and 1 in the column. Okay. Similarly, if you compare S1 versus S3, If you compare S1 versus S3, then difference is of 9 and S3 will be preferred over S1 and hence this row will contain 0 and column will contain 1. Similarly, this is again 0, this is 1, this is 0, this is 1. Okay. Now S2 and S3 are complete. So S2 and S3. Again the difference is of 4 and S3 is preferred. Hence I'm writing okay, S2, S3. So S2, S3 I will write 1 over here and 0 in the room. Similarly, you have to fill other values. I'm putting in all the values directly over here. S2, S4 difference is of 3, then S4 is preferred and hence this will be 1, this will be 0. S2, S5, both the values are same, means difference is 0, that is this category and hence you have to put 0 at both the place, that is this is 0 and this is 0. Then S3 and S4, again difference is of only 1, okay. So again you come to 0, this 0 as well as this. And then S3, S5, 99, 95, difference is of 3, S3 will be preferred and this as 1 and this as 0. S4, S5. Difference is of 3. Okay. Again, this S4 as 1 and this as 0. So, in this way, we have filled the first table. So, similarly, we have to fill all the tables, right? So, we have prepared the table. All the four tables are prepared. So the next is next step is calculate calculate complete rank. So we will require one more table. Similar to this, let us copy this table. So we have copied the table. Now, the weights which we have calculated from the ASP methodology will be required in this case. Now, you have to calculate complete ranking considering all the four factors that is quality, cost, time delivery, and service. Now, one thing is that I have not told you that we have converted the cost column 
in maximized objective function already in the previous example right so the 100 means it is the supplier with maximum or least cost it is providing you with the least cost and with reference to that least cost we have converted it that is available in the previous video of analytical hierarchy process and this cost table is reference to these values all the objective functions in this case are maximization type so let us calculate complete ranking so suppose we have to calculate complete ranking between s1 and s2 so what is the procedure that is you, you will require the cells all s1 s2 intersection cells right and these values will be multiplied by its corresponding radius that is for example for this cell what i will be doing this value multiplied by the weight of quality that is 0.51 plus second value that of cost that is 1 multiplied by the weightage of cost that is 0.33 plus on time delivery value that is 0 multiplied by its weightage 0 0.10 plus service value multiplied by service rating that is 0 0.06 so in this way we have calculated complete ranking between s1 and s2 so it is coming around 0.3 so i just have to drag it so that i will get all the other readings okay similarly i will have to drag this over here so that i will get all the readings corresponding to this part Similarly, I will drag it over here. In all these cases, it is zero, right? That's why ultimately it is coming as zero. So we have obtained the complete ranking of this. Now we have to calculate 5 plus, let us see that is symbolic there. There, there. Okay. So we have to calculate 5 plus, 5 plus means outflow, okay. positive outflow. And then we have to calculate five minus okay. what is this? this is basically the summation of row wise summation okay. so it is sum row wise it is coming around 1.76 and 5 minus is the column by sum. We have to calculate the net flow, net outflow. So the formula for net outflow is y net is equal to
try plus minus minus phi minus Basically, this is this value minus this value. Let us calculate phi net over here. That is equals to phi plus value minus phi minus value. So depending on this finite value, you can take this one. That is higher is the better, right? So then we have to give ranking. You can see that this value is the highest, right? So mm -hmm. next, supplier four is the supplier four is the best supplier. Then followed by next is S3 supplier, then S1 supplier, then S2 supplier, and then finally S5 supplier. So this is the ranking of which obtained from from a key method. So if you see the ranking which was calculated from the previous example, that is from AHP, this is AHP ranking. Okay, so there is sufficient difference we can see in the procedure. So what decision makers basically do, they apply more methods, more number of methods on the same problem and the, the output given by maximum method as a best supplier, they will select it. Because there are advantages and disadvantages of some methods. So we have to apply number of methods on one problem and then we give you solution. I, have, I hope you have understood the methodology of AHP from it. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day.